Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video we will look at another way of achieving the output that we had achieved in the previous video. So in the previous video if you remember we used the bookmark which is the furniture bookmark so I just selected over here the value will be still 5.18 over here. So what it has is basically the bookmark we had used along with the delivery truck so if this is something uh, you want to use as a backend and not as a bookmark then what you can do is um, go into the edit and come over here 5.18 so over here if you see the expression it's saying bm underscore furniture that means it is taking the furniture selection the value of this furniture selection as a default selection and then in making an intersection or or in another way finding the common records from whatever we are selecting which is indicated by this dollar sign so if we select furniture is anyway default selected and if you select delivery truck so it will give us only common record between furniture and delivery truck or if you are selecting regular air then it will give the furniture uh, and regular air records now this is based on what we are selecting in the front end but let's say if you want to present it to user without uh, they are uh, making a selection or as a predefined requirement then we can basically use the set operators <coughs> and uh, this will be little uh, you know uh, complex or advanced maybe for you because uh, what I have not showed you is the set modifier so bear with me uh, for a moment so I'm just removing everything and this is basically your set modifier and I will explain more about them in the next video. So what I can do I can put a dollar sign prior to that which is basically saying that whatever selection I'm making in the front end consider that also along with the condition that I'm specifying. So um, I first of all I need to mention the uh, product uh, category as uh, in the bracket within the quotes as furniture right because that's what the bookmark was saying and then I can use the operator over here like plus sign which is indicating that uh, include that or I can use star which is an intersection and after that I can put a dollar and indicate that uh, ship mode let me select that ship mode is equals to your express air right so a, a very simple condition which is specifying that give me the sales of only those values which are where product category is furniture and ship mode is express air right and if i click apply and click on done you see that 159.8 k is the value that we are getting so over here we can verify also so 114 well, sorry 14.92 million is the sum of sales if i select furniture and if i select express air you see 159.7k or 159.8k is the output so whatever we are getting from the set analysis over here is getting verified based on the selection that we have made so that's an alternative thing i wanted to show you that how you can predefine all of your selection if you don't want it dynamic let's say you are creating furniture related dashboard and you are showing the kpis based on the shipping mode of furniture then in that case this will be very very useful so that's about how you can uh, further use the set operators like this which is a star or plus and make your uh, calculations as complex as you want based on your business rules so that's pretty much it i have for you in this video and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic